Hey, brother. So at the end of last semester, I had to make this video project called a digital story. These are the kind of videos that you see pretty much all over YouTube, even my own channel. So it wasn't too hard to make or come up with what I wanted to talk about. It's what we do at Christian events. We do whatever we want. It's a friendly want. environment. So exactly. Friendly. But what did surprise me was how relevant my topic was to my current predicament, which isn't really a coincidence. So yeah, here's just a clip of that story. And like a lot of people, freshman year was a pretty tough time. So when May came around and it was almost time for summer and I was one of the only people not going home, I remember panicking. For instance, what was campus gonna be like with nobody there? Who was I gonna hang out with since all my regular friends were states away at home? What was I gonna do when I got bored, etc. So obviously I spent a lot of time worrying about it, but then June rolled around and I was actually living it. Yeah, so basically what I'm talking about in that video is how a supposedly terrible summer actually turned out to be an amazing year for me. Not because of one thing, I got started. Now that's a little bit vague, so let me explain. By the way, if you wanna watch that whole video, the link is, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, so I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a summer RA at Trebekah, get a part-time job, and well, I wanted fun activities to keep me busy and make my summer, you know, suck less. See, the problem was though that none of that was gonna happen with me just sitting around. It wasn't gonna find me. So the pressure that I didn't want was on, and I had to make a choice. Either let my summer suck, or do as my friend Greg would say, and pick it up and suck the nectar out of it. I'm suddenly painfully aware of how many times I've used the word suck in this video already. Yeah, so thankfully I chose the better option. I started what became my favorite job in the world, and I got a bunch of cool friends because of that job. I was in a small summer RA dorm with two roommates, one of which became like the best bro I could ever ask for. I went to on-campus events for the summer like sand volleyball and barbecues and socials and found other nearby friendship and fun through that. Marcos and Gerald came to visit me and we got into all sorts of shenanigans around town in Nashville. And I became much closer friends with two of my buddies who were at Trebek at the time, Ryan and Greg. Ryan, not you, and Greg, who I mentioned earlier about, you know, sucking the nectar out of life. They came over to watch cartoons all the time, uh, crappy Netflix movies. We jammed on guitar and like wrote music together, which was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, and we went to freaking Disney World at the end to top it all off because of that amazing job that I mentioned earlier, Disney Store. You know all about that. So the point of this is saying that the place that I'm in now is very, very familiar. UCF is ginormous. Plus on a regular basis, I'm still trying to figure out how to, you know, be like an adult. But I do know how to make a difference and quote unquote suck the nectar out of exactly where I am. And like I said earlier, that difference is simply getting started. So to get started, last night I perused through UCF's over 700 clubs and emailed probably 30 of them that I was even somewhat interested in. And so far I've heard back from like 10, which is pretty solid. I still don't have a job, although I'd love some suggestions, but as of May 3rd, I will officially be a UCF RA for the 2019-2020 school year. Holla at your boy. So I'm definitely making progress on the whole getting started thing, but it is just progress. I know that it takes time. And admittedly, I'm still a little scared that this summer is gonna suck, but to be fair, summer of 2016 was supposed to suck too. And I know that's not easy advice. Starting really is the hardest part, but trust me, it gets easier. Because to this day, in 2018, me and my Nashville friends still talk about the best summer of our lives in 2016. Flash forward to today, I should definitely heed my own advice after transferring to UCF from Nashville and basically being a freshman all over again, but it's never too late to get started, so better get to it. All right, brother, so on that note, what time is it? 